Okay, question six. Four cars, A, B, C, D. Okay, move from rest in a straight line. Okay, the cars take some takes the same time to accelerate to a velocity of sixty kilometer per hour. Okay, sure, but their velocity time graphs are shown. Which graph reaches the velocity in the shortest distance? You know what's interesting? Um, in my class, normally when I ask students to sketch graphs, right, I will draw the shape of a leaf that looks something like this and I always ask them to guess the gradient. I guess someone saw my lecture and decided to set the question. But this one has a short twist here. It wants the shortest distance. So how do we deduce information about distance from a velocity time graph? Okay, hopefully you will know this by now that if you want to find distance from a velocity time graph, you will take the area under a VT graph. So then the area under which curve is the smallest? Of course, the area under curve D. La. So the answer is D. La. Because if you, if you need a visual, then this is the area under this curve. It's the smallest area already. Okay. All other curves uh, have a larger area. If you are given a statement question and you are asked to uh, explain why, or why do you think D has the largest, or has the larger, sorry, has the shortest distance? Because you can see uh, for the car in D, the acceleration is greatest because the gradient is getting steeper and steeper. So this increasing acceleration allows the car to reach the speed 60 much more quicker than let's say A because A has a decreasing acceleration. It's still accelerating but it is decreasing. So it's a bit like you put your feet on the accelerator, you put your feet on the accelerator very hard, and then you slowly let go your feet. So where it matters, right, we, it depends on whether you accelerate in front or you accelerate at the back. Because if you accelerate, if your acceleration is very large in front, as you can see here, you are increasing from zero. So those values are small. You jump from maybe 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 and 4 to 16. This is small. But when your velocity is already big, you decrease your acceleration. That's why the distance covered is small. Because when your speed is small, you accelerate a lot. So you still need to cover a long distance. All right. So compared to D, where initially I accelerate slowly. And then after that, when I want to reach the finish line, I increase the velocity quickly but you don't have to think too much always ask yourself what does the question want from you if they want acceleration then you will look at the gradient okay so the acceleration here is decreasing whereas the, the acceleration is increasing because this one is becoming steeper and steeper if they want distance then d will have the shortest distance because it has the smallest area under the graph and a will have the greatest distance because it has the largest area under the graph. Ah. It is this entire area. The whole thing. Okay. So that's it for question six. Where they are asking about kinematics graph.